So I just got home and the tats are looking pretty good, but my wife doesn't really know about them. What the heck? Tattoos to me are really scary and if they're not important, I wouldn't just get one. I can't even stay in a relationship for longer than a year, so tattoo is like a lifetime commitment and I'm not ready for that. I would say people perceive me as a pretty straight edge kind of guy. I never have done hard drugs, I've never done marijuana. The edge part of me is when I smoke cigars occasionally and I drink whiskey. The first thing that actually came to mind uh, when I was getting a tattoo, the bigger one was, is it gonna show up when I'm in a wedding dress? This face tattoo is gonna be serious. I mean, I live in a liberal place, so I mean, I'm sure I'm not gonna get any too hardcore looks, but it'll definitely change the perception. I'm like really excited. <laughs> <laughs> to look like I actually um, am cool. So let's get tatted. I know, it's like a stencil. I'm really nervous that people are gonna stare at me. How's it look? Getting weird looks from people looking at my face, so put the sunnies on, or kind of hide it. As I was leaving my apartment, I realized that I look like a character from West Side Story. I got the white shirt, blue jeans, I don't know. I, I just think I have to have a snap battle with somebody. Candace and I realized that we've actually started dressing more badass <laughs> to show off our tattoos. Like, I have to look cool, at least, to kind of match these tattoos. You notice how we eliminated color from our wardrobe. I was standing up in the bar and this girl came up to me and I think she thought that I was gay. <laughs> she started buying me shots and talking to me about my tattoos. So I guess my tattoos are attracting everybody. And the hardest thing about having a tattoo in your face is forgetting that it's there and like being concerned why people are looking at you. So we're at Nicole Miller in West Hollywood and I'm about to try on some wedding dresses. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited to see him on her. Especially with like, I don't know, that's just gonna be weird. <laughs> yeah, my mom would be judging me so hard oh, yeah. right now. <laughs> no, no, it's it's so no, don't cry. Don't cry. I can't, the veil and the hair. Like... Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, I don't even see it. I don't even see it. Yeah. yeah. When it's something so special and so bright, it's, mm -hmm. you're not gonna see it. Well, you shine through. I think there's this thing that women have to look so pristine and so like flawless, yes. basically, mm -hmm. on their wedding. And it's like, this can be part of you. Yeah. It's changed my perspective, yeah. definitely. Like, you don't see the tattoo when, when the bride just like looks so beautiful in the dress and you can tell that she feels beautiful. It's like, this is whatever, it doesn't matter. I will say that the tattoo has really started to kind of grow on me. Same thing with my wife. We both have come to enjoy it more over the week. It's so bizarre how emotionally attached I've gotten to this tattoo. Like, it's so dumb, but like, I love it. And now I feel, I feel like I've had so many memories. Those weird three, four second looks are just like a, enough to like grab my attention. And again, I always forgot it was on my face. And then I was like, oh yeah, I have a tattoo on my face. This is, uh, this may look kind of strange. People identify you for your tattoos first and foremost. It's not your personality, it's not your glorious smile or your eyes, it's your tattoo. It was almost like people had more respect for me with showing off these tattoos and like they saw me in a totally different light and then I started feeling more confident. Maybe a half sleeve is in my future. I don't know, we'll have to look at my bank account. <laughs>